Welcome to Principles of Electronics. This is part one. Uh, we're going to discuss the differences between AC and DC. Uh, this is a in very introductory level. We're not going to get into theory or anything like that. Um, just differences between AC and DC. All right, so let's take a look. First, AC stands for alternating current. DC stands for direct current. Notice, obviously, that current is mentioned in both of them. This is because AC and DC are two different ways that current can flow. Now, we're going to talk about current and the flow of current in and, uh, and much more detail in a later lesson. But the differences between these two are, are, uh, are pretty large. I'm going to start with just drawing a graph of what would be a typical AC current. Now, we're not going to attack voltages or anything on uh, these, but as you can see, this uh, is pretty much a sine wave. It has amplitude, it has frequency, uh, but it has a positive side and a negative side. Now, if we were to just draw a wire and then look at the way current flows, current flows an alternating current in one direction, which is this positive half, and then it switches and flows on the same wire in the opposite direction, which is the negative half. Hence our alternating current. It flows one direction, then flows the other direction. DC, or direct current, maintains a straight line current value. It doesn't change. Uh, if we were looking at a piece of wire and looking at the flow of current through that wire, it would simply be flowing in one direction and would not change. Graphically, that's what it looks like. Now, let's do an example. So, let's say for example, you have, um, we're gonna start with AC, and let's just look at your standard plug. This is your standard plug, and any wall, you plug in all your electronic components to this and um, whatever, whatever you have. We get AC out of this plug. We get alternating current out of a plug. Now, that AC current is, uh, or that alternating current is, um, you know, created somewhere else, and this is where we get it into the home. DC current, just for an easy example, comes from batteries. It comes from other sources, but Battery, I'm sure that everybody's familiar with batteries. So a battery is a source of direct current or DC. Now, you can, which is one real nice thing about AC and DC, is convert between um, each of them. So you can go AC to DC, or you can go DC to AC. AC to DC. DC to AC. We do that through a converter. Now, everybody that I'm sure is listening to this right now and watching has used a converter. For example, if you're watching this on your laptop and you have it plugged in. If this is your laptop, your laptop is plugged in to the wall. Now, we know laptop operates on DC. But we just said that AC comes out of the wall. But if you look, there's a small little box that is attached to your plug or in between somewhere. This is your AC to DC converter. It takes the alternating current from the plug, converts it to direct current, and then operates your computer. Uh, we have the same thing when we have a cell phone. A cell phone has one of those little blocks. And then that block goes to your phone and then charges your phone. This is that converter. That block is the converter. It's taking the AC here and converting it to DC for your phone. All right. There is a very simple explanation of AC and DC. Just to recap, AC is alternating current, DC is direct current. 
alternating current flows one way and then turns and flows the other way. Direct current does not change direction, it's constant. An example of where we get alternating current is from a plug in your house. An example of where we get direct current is from a battery, 9 volt, AA, AAA, doesn't matter. Uh, and we use converters to go in between AC and DC or DC to AC. So that's all we got for lesson one. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, please subscribe to Spriderweb Education.